I can't forgive myself. I can't, I can't find a way to forgive myself. Though the scripture says that all of us been forgiven. All the guilt has been taken away. No more chains. I don't have to accept the chains. So the first thing I want to do is read Matthews 27, 1 to 10. One, it says, now when morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate, the governor. Then when Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that he had been condemned, he felt remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, what is that to us? See to that yourself. You must forgive yourself or you'll be walking in the steps of Judas. I believe that failing to forgive ourselves from our past mistakes is denying the actual word of God and the work of the cross and the blood of Jesus. You can't forgive yourself because you denied the gospel. You deny the blood of Christ, which has already forgiven, then we are basically saying, I don't care what the blood of Jesus has done. I still hate myself because of what I did. If we do not forgive ourselves or forgive others, we are turned over to the tormentor. 1830 to 35, it says, should you have not also have had mercy on the fellow slave in the same way that I had mercy on you? So this man, he owed him some money and, and he said, I'm going to throw you in prison. And the man cried out, please have patience with me. Forgive me. I will pay you. And so he had he felt uh, sorry for the guy and decided to let him go. The guy went on about his business and then he ran into somebody else that owed him money. And uh, he said, listen, give me my money or else I'm going to put you in prison turn you over to the tormentors. So this man said, no, you don't pay me. So he threw him in jail. Now somebody happened to be following. You know, you got some people that will follow you to see if you are really what you say you are. Somebody was following him and when they got to him, they seen what he did and they ran the tail. 34 it says, and his Lord moved with anger handed him over to the torturers until he should repay all that was owed him. Now, 35, you can tell that God is trying to talk to us. Jesus said, my heavenly father will also do the same to you. Now, let's find out. And I'm telling you, when you turn over to the demons, because there's no debt in prison, when you turn over to demons, not that God has forgotten you or, for, or has not, not forgiven you, but you've been turned over because you refuse to receive the gospel. The gospel says I've been delivered, but the torturers, because I have not forgiven myself, the torturers is in me, tormenting me, trying to get me to leave. Now, sometimes we end up leaving where we're supposed to be because we're being tormented. Not forgiving yourself will cause you to walk in the same steps as Judas. Somewhere along the line, you've done something awful. You know you have sinned and you feel terribly remorseful. You still go to church and worship every Sunday, but you can't seem to rid yourself of the guilt. You can't shake that voice of the inner accuser, which is Satan, saying, you made the choice. You cannot undo this. And like they said to Judas, see it to yourself. And that voice of condemnation keeps ringing like the coins that Judas threw, clinging across the floor of the temple of your soul. You obviously, obviously have not literally hung yourself. 
like Judas did, but you are definitely choking the life out of your salvation by not forgiving yourself. I don't know. I'm covered by grace. Yeah.